Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics with Mr. Kumalo. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop. In today's video, we are looking at long division and we are firstly going to go through the rules. Now, it's very important for us to go through the rules because we need to understand what we are doing and we need to know when and how and what we should be doing. Now, the first step, as you can see on the board, is to firstly divide. Then you want to multiply, subtract, and bring down. So those are the four steps we are going to follow. So first, we divide, multiply, subtract, and we bring down. I also call this the DMSB system. Or you can try to remember it by thinking of your dad, your mother, your sister, or your brother. Now let's take a look at the first example and see how we can apply this rule successfully in order to get to our answers. Right. In the first example, we have 245 divided by 2. Now, 245 is what we call our dividend, and the number 2 is what we call our divisor. Our dividend, 245, is the number that we are breaking up, and the number 2 is our dividend or is our divisor, which is the number we are using to break this number up. So when we are doing long division, what is it that we are trying to do? We are trying in this particular case to find out how many times does 2 go into 245. So now, normally next to my sum, I would also recommend that you write down the steps that you need to follow and as you apply the steps, tick until you are done with the problem. Now we are going to go ahead and start. Right, so now I usually close up the other numbers to make it easy for you guys. So now ask myself, we divide it. 2 goes into 2 how many times? Once. That is division. The next step is to multiply. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Subtract. 2 minus 2 gives you 0. So whenever I get to my subtraction, I tend to remember that I also need to draw my line and then I can subtract and write down my answer. Now the fourth step is that I need to bring down. So I made use of the 2, so the next number that I need to make use of is the 4. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down the 4. Now every time after bringing down, you repeat your rules, starting again with division. Now we no longer going back to our numbers under the signs, we are now looking at our new number that has been formed after we brought down any other number. So in this case we brought down the 4, so we are going to go ahead and start with the rules. 2 goes into 4 how many times? 2 times. Multiply, 2 multiplied by 2 gives you how much? 4. Subtract, so I'm going to go and draw my line and then I can subtract. 4 minus 4 gives me 0. Right, and then I need to bring down. I've made use of the 2, I've made use of the 4, so the next number that I need to bring down is the 5. And you draw your arrow all the way up to that line that you drew. So now I have a new number that has formed. So because I just brought down, I go back and I repeat the rules. Right, again, 2 goes into 5 how many times? 2 goes into 5 2 times. Right, we are not concerned about the remainder because 2 goes into 5 1, 2 times and then the remainder will be 1. But we are not concerned about the remainder for now. We just want to know how many times does 2 go into the number 5. So 2 goes into 5 2 times, that is division. Multiply. 2 multiplied by 2 gives you 4. Subtract. So I draw my line. Subtract. 5 minus 4 gives you 1. And then the next step is to bring down. Right. Is there any number that I can bring down? No. I made use of the 2. 
I made use of the four, I made use of the five, there is no number to bring down, so I'm going to say no, there's no number to bring down, and this simply means I am done. So looking at my problem, I can now see that two goes into 245, 122 times, and this number we hold over here becomes our remainder one. So two goes into 245, 122 times, and the remainder is one. So again, I also like to mention that, remember, every time you divide or multiply, you are always making use of your divisor. Every time you divide or multiply, you always make use of your divisor. And again, remember, every time after dividing, you write your number on top, and every time after multiplying, you want to write your answer on the, or just below your sign. And just to go through the problem again, remember we said 2 goes into 2 once, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, we need to subtract, 2 minus 2 gives you 0, bring down the 4, 2 goes into 4 2 times, 2 multiplied by 2 gives you 4, draw your line, subtract, 4 minus 4 gives you 0, bring down the 5, 2 goes into 5 2 times, and 2 times 2 gives you 4, 5 minus 4 is 1, and there is no number to bring down, that means we are done with our problem. So again, I repeat, this simply means or tells us that the number 2 goes into the number 245, 122 times, and the remainder is 1. Let's take a look at the next problem. Second problem, we have 1,224 divided by 12. The only difference between this problem over here and this problem over here is that this problem over here has a one-digit divisor and the problem over here has a double-digit or two-digit divisor. But the rules and the steps remain the same. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. All right, so again, we want to know how many times does 12 go into 1,224? You could also think of this problem in this way. Imagine I give you 1,224 rands and I say share it with 12 people or share it amongst 12 people. So how much of the 1,224 rands would each of those 12 people get? Right. Now, we are going to look at this problem and we're going to again start with the number 1. We first want to know how many times does 12 go into 1? Now, we can see looking at this particular problem that our divisor is bigger than the first digit 1. So 12 cannot go into 1. Alright? So what do we need to do? We need to look for a bigger number. So we are now going to open up and make use of 12. Why? Because 12 cannot go into 1. So we open up. Now we can see that 12 goes into 12 once. That is division. Now we need to multiply. 12 multiplied by 1 gives us 12. Now we need to subtract. Every time we subtract, we draw our line. Now we can subtract. 12 minus 12 gives us 0. You bring down. You've made use of the 1, you've made use of the 2. So you bring down the next number, which is your 2, and then you write it over here. Remember, every time after bringing down, you repeat. Again, starting with division. So a new number has formed, which is 2. So now we are going to repeat our rules or steps using this specific number. So now we want to know 12 goes how many times into 2? Now can 12 go into 2? No. 12 cannot go into 2. So basically 12 goes into 2 how many times? 0 times. So we are going to go ahead and write down our 0. Now the common mistake some of you make is that you tend to now change the rules around and say 2 goes into 12 6 times. But that is going to make your answer wrong. Remember, this is your divisor. You want to know how many times this number over here goes into this number over here. So that is why we are saying 12 goes into 2 0 times. Okay? So now there is division. Now we need to multiply. 
12 multiplied by 0 gives us 0. Any number multiplied by 0 remains or gives us 0. That is multiplication. I need to subtract, so I remember to draw my line. I subtract 2 minus 0 gives me 2. And then I need to bring down. I've made use of the 1, the 2, and the 2. So the next number that I need to bring down is my 4. So I'm going to draw my arrow up to the last line, and now I have 24. Every time after bringing down, you repeat the steps, starting again with division. 12 goes into 24. How many times? 2 times. Multiply. 12 multiplied by 2 gives you 24. Subtract. So I draw my line and get ready to subtract. 24 minus 24 gives me 0. Is there any number to bring down? No. I made use of the 1, I made use of the 2, the 2, and the 4. There is no number to bring down, and because of that, I am done. So, what does this mean? This simply means 12 goes into 1224 102 times. Now, another fact that, or something I want to bring to your attention, I spoke of the divisor and I spoke of the dividend, but I've never spoken or said this in the, in the first problem, that the answer that we get over here is called our quotient. So the quotient is the answer that you get when you are dividing up or breaking up your numbers. So 102 is our quotient, our divisor, and our dividend. 12 goes into 1224, 102 times. And just to go over the problem quickly again, right? 12 cannot go into 1, so we make use of 12. 12 goes into 12 one time. 12 multiplied by 1 gives us 12. 12 minus 12 gives us 0. Bring down the 2. 12 goes into 2 0 times. 12 multiplied by 0 gives you 0. Subtract. 2 minus 0 gives you 2. Bring down the 4. Now I have 24. 12 goes into 24. 2 times. 12 multiplied by 2 gives you 24. 24 minus 24 gives you 0. Right. Now that you've learned how to do long division, I am going to give you the next problem that you can try on your own. 3051 divided by 5. Right. Now, again, applying the rules, we want to know 5 goes into 3051 how many times? Now, as you can see, looking at the first number, 5 cannot go into 3, so we need a bigger number. Now we are going to make use of the 30 in order to accommodate this 5 over here. 5 goes into 30 6 times. That is division. Multiply. 5 multiplied by 6 gives you 30. Draw your line. Get ready to subtract. 30 minus 30 gives you 0. Fourth step, you bring down your 5. So a new number has formed, so we repeat the rules. 5 goes into 5 once. That's division. 5 multiplied by 1 gives you 5. Draw your line, get ready to subtract. 5 minus 5 gives you 0. Then we need to bring down. We've made use of the 3, the 0 and the 5. Now we bring down the 1 and we draw our arrow all the way up to this line over here. Now we have a 1. 5 goes into 1 0 times. Remember 5 cannot go into 1 because 1 is smaller than 5. So 5 goes into 1 0 times. Now we multiply. 5 multiplied by 0 gives you 0. Remember any number multiplied by 0 the answer will always be zero. So now we need to draw our line and subtract. One minus zero gives you one. So now we can see that our answer is going to be 610 and the remainder is 
1. So the remainder is going to be 1 because we have no other number that we can bring down. So that means we are done. 5 goes into 3051, 610 times, and the remainder is 1. If you were able to get this one right, well done to you. If you got it wrong, just remember, you just need to practice because practice makes improvement. We have come to the end of the video. Please like, share the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell.